So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I showcase you the entire Alexander quest line which sees you earning a great talisman, the Shard of Alexander. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Alexander quest line actually isn't too long of one. For it, you get what you can see on the screen now, the Shard of Alexander greatly boosts the attack power of skills. Yes, people, it's amazing. Yes, people, it's a must get. Okay, so this quest, where does it start? Well, for everybody, it will start as soon as you defeat Radan. But some people may have spoke to uh, Alexander prior to defeating Radan, and that's fine. You can find him located in Limegrave, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to go there and speak to him. So we're gonna start this quest and this guide from the point that we defeat Radan. Now Radan, guys, if you don't know, you ain't got this far yet. If you go down to the far south east of the map, you'll have the impassable Great Bridge. Next to it, you'll have the uh, chamber outside the plaza. And just slightly up of that, you'll have the Radan fight. If you go here, guys, go to this uh, red main castle, you'll get the quest to defeat Radan. Once you defeat him, you're good. You can start this quest whenever you want because I've actually already completed the game. I've defeated most bosses. I could still come back and start this quest with Alexander. He was still sitting here waiting by Radan's remains for me to start this quest with him. And no, I never spoke to him prior to defeating Radan. Never saw him. So yeah. So once you defeat Radan, right next to his body, guys, you'll see the Timper Alexander. What you want to do here, guys, is speak to him and clear out all dialogue. Now from here, guys, you need to check if you have any oil pots in your inventory. If you do, you can skip this part. If not, we need to head down into Nokron, the Eternal City, find a vendor, buy the recipe, the cookbook, and then craft them. It is a Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 17, and you will have to craft a couple of these oil pots with melted mushrooms. But on screen now, guys, you can see where you go to get into the Nokron City, the Eternal City, and let's follow the path I take on screen now, guys. To actually get to this vendor, you will have to fight and defeat the Mimic tier boss to get past him, to get down to this uh, vendor. But once you've done that, just follow the path I take on screen now, guys, all the way to this grace point, which I initially just activate because his area can be a little chaotic. But from the grace point, you then make your way to the vendor.
Now, while you're at this grace point, if you don't have any of those melted mushrooms, because that's what's required to actually create these oil pots, uh, there's one right by this grace. So you can farm that over and over by simply picking it up, going back to the grace, uh, rinsing and repeating, guys, and get as many as you need. Probably I'd say about 10 will do you just fine. But yeah, do as I do on screen now if you ain't got none of these melted mushrooms. Gather up and you're good. Then make your way to the vendor. So once you're at the vendor and you've brought that cookbook, the one you need, I brought both of them uh, just to make sure I got the right one. Uh, then just go into your inventory and craft the oil parts which we farmed the Maori uh, mushrooms for not long ago in the video. So yes, just craft away guys. And I mean, you only really need one or two of these, but just create as many as you can. Now guys, you want to go to the Korean study hall on the map. This is where you'll find Alexander, he will be stuck in a hole. So any grace point around here on the map guys, you'll be fine. So use any of them and then come down to where Alexander can be located by the point of put on the map. I'm stuck. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Ah. What you want to do here, guys, is then throw a couple of these parts at Alexander to get that oil all over him and then hit him a few times to knock him free. You can use any weapon to hit him free. I mean, I use my most powerful weapon and it didn't kill him. So, yep, yeah, knock him free, guys, and then clear out all dialogue he has. Give it your From here guys you need to head to the left hand side the volcano manor area. Here you will have to fight a magna worm boss who can be a bit of a handful. Now if you don't know your way to here guys I'll showcase you exactly the route you need to take from the Dectus lift. So you will need a Dectus medallion also guys do a quick search on YouTube it's quite easy to get. Then you can activate this lift and come up to this area the Altus Plateau. Then follow the route I take on screen now guys all the way around 
to this lava bath where you will be met by a boss called the Magna Worm. Now, I've already took him out, so he isn't there for me, but you will have to fight him first. So yes, once you've took him out, guys, you'll find Alexander at the back of this spot inside of that lava. Here, you have to be really careful. Speak to him as quickly as possible because your health will drain. Then, guys, quickly jump back onto that rock afterwards. Luckily, he hasn't got too much dialogue here, so you ain't going to be in that lava for too long. From here, guys, you will last meet him within the Dragon Temple. And this is basically end end game. So you need to more or less clear out the mountain tops of the giants, kill the fire giants, and then you'll make your way over to the actual dragon temple. And from here guys, he's located near the dragon temple lift. And I'll show you the route to this lift from the very first grace point you unlock within the dragon temple. So follow the path I take on screen now guys to get to this dragon temple lift. Now you will need a stone sword key to activate the lift, so make sure you have one of those.
So once you are in the lift guys, follow the short route I take out of the lift and head to Alexander. Avoid all enemies on your way, just run straight to him. Once you get next to him guys, this is basically the end of the quest where he challenges you. Take him out and the quest is done and this amazing talisman is yours. It really is that simple guys. And there we have it, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one. I suspected victory was impossible this vessel was found lacking my thanks I knew you were the stuff of champions it was a marvelous battle I implore you take what I bequeath from inside me all vessels are destined to one day break but the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs>